too many of the same things, but I'll take you through our discussion quickly. Um, just to give a quick overview, some of the key words that hit us as far as um, where we need to go was that the complete streets, changing tr uh, the street design from single use, the link in place, the roads are not just for automobiles, and I think everyone had in the room probably had a, a good feeling when they, they heard the stuff on the European roads, the whole common sense issue and, and um, how we're designing, um, we're designing for stupidity in a lot of cases. Um, there's also our automobile culture and integration and uh, kind of just a summary was we need a, a plan and we need a good plan and we need to carry on with that plan and uh, not perhaps let politicians interfere or economics of um, just single day economics um, dominate. Also talked a bit about the population issues, timing and density issues. Um, the growth is expensive is something that resonated with our group. We have quite a range of ages and uh, backgrounds in our group. Um, something, some of the surprising things from our presenters was someone had said there was just not a, a lot of talk about the economics on it. And obviously the economics of transportation and infrastructure are very high. Um, very little realization of the costs of roads and parking currently. We talk about, and this is something that drove me crazy when I was with the city too, is we talk about the subsidy for our transit system all the time. We don't talk about the, the subsidy to the, the single occupancy vehicle, to the roads, to the bridges. And that, that subsidy is much, much higher than what we give to transit, but all we ever hear about is a subsidy to transit. Um, also, on incentives and disincentives that, that are currently out there, very little happening in, in that area, but a lot happening on the how we want to grow and um, obviously we've seen some really good stuff coming from, from Derek's presentation on, on making our, our city or our areas livable. Um, something else that was surprising was in Edmonton the discussion about how there was some backlash and they retreated, so there was a, the discussion that we have that opportunity to learn from what's been, what happened there. Um, some of the key keywords, when we talk about service, we talk about um, how much we want to invest in infrastructure. And everyone talks about, oh, we need this infrastructure, that infrastructure. What we got to realize is what we want for our service level, and then design <coughs> and accept the infrastructure that comes with that service level. Obviously, taxes aren't, they seem like they, they can go on and on, but they, they shouldn't be able to. We should decide on the service level and, and move forward. So when we went to one sentence, where are we at today? And um, the words that came out were scrambling, reactive. And I, I don't mean this as anything to those people currently, especially our, our uh, people who talk today. There, there's no disrespect. This is kind of the overall view of where we're at when we talk about a city growing more in cars than it is in people and the issues that that, that brings our current day planners based on what, they, uh, what legacy they've been left. But scrambling, reactive, the word mess came up. Uh, some of it was kind of cheap and short-sighted, looking at how stuff has been built and developed. And those were looking at the, the lowest cost options for those days. Um, and kind of a good summary of it was foisting higher costs on, on our future. But then, as we heard in our presentations today, when we have good people thinking good things, um, in a city that's growing as it is with people like you in the room, there's a lot of opportunity. So, I won't get into too much on the issues, but um, on the most effective, there's a very wide range. So if we were to, to become a more sustainable city um, and have better transportation means for all demographics, uh, who would it affect the most? And obviously, Right, actually, right away, some of the people went to, you know what, those who don't drive right now would have a, an improvement in their lifestyle. There's also those that drive right now who would have an improvement because there would be less.